bizarre memory. I was walking down Amboy Avenue, my hometown, and I looked through a window, and I saw two people sitting alone in a room. And even though I was looking through the window, in my mind, in my imagination, I became part of the story. I call this the voyeur. David Copperfield will attempt the greatest physical challenge of his career, surviving in the core of a tornado of fire. Every day, Christy steps into a fresh, clean shower. When we ask people about their perfect... They're a perfect place, just like me, many of them said in the islands of the beach. Some of the letters are very emotional. This is one that we found particularly moving. It's from a gentleman named Russell Brennan. Dear Mr. Copperfield, I'm writing since you ask people where they want to go. But I want to ask for my son, Michael. I made some bad mistakes when Mike was a boy. I was never home. Then I left. Mike was five. By the time I came back, it was too late to make things right. I heard he lost his mom a few years ago. I guess I'm all he has, even though we hardly know each other. When I left, I joined the army and got stationed in Hawaii for two months. It was paradise. I wish Mike could see it too and find some peace in this world. I don't know if he loves me or hates me, but if you could send my boy to Hawaii, please tell him it was his father who wished this for him. Sincerely, Russell Brown. And Michael Brown is here in our audience tonight. Please help me welcome him. Welcome to show business. How you doing? All right. Welcome, welcome. Got a present for you. I want you to keep this letter as kind of a souvenir of tonight's festivities. When was the last time you spoke to your dad? About two years. Two years ago. Well, we just spoke to him, and he did have one request. And that is, if we get to Hawaii, and I hope that we do, that I take a picture of you to send to him. Is that cool? All right, good. Let's see how they're doing in Hawaii right now. There it is, our little island right off the coast of Hawaii. Brett, how you doing? Doing fine. Come on down and examine the sand. There are no trapdoors in Hawaii. Bring the bag forward. 
Move the bag forward, guys. And spread it out. And then spread it out. The weather looks beautiful, but the rain's been coming and going all morning. I hope that doesn't cause any problems. There's going to be a lot of critical people, cynics, who are going to say, this can't be real, don't insult my intelligence. Well, this is not about intelligence. It's illusion. And we're going to go with some proof. I need you to take off your shoes and stand over there, if you would. I need to find some people at random. I'm going to find them by throwing this steel ball into the audience. <laughs> Whoever it cracks in the head... That's just quite light. We're going to throw it twice. Do you know it's random? There's the first throw. 